All right, guys, so this is the M855 on the top here. The, the bottom track, from your perspective, is the cheap 55 grain full metal jacket. You can see both of them produce a fairly decent sized temporary stretch cavity. The disruption happened much earlier with the 55 grain here below, starting at about this point. And with the 62 grain full metal jacket, M855 starts about here. The neck on the 55 grain is about four and a half inches. The neck on the M855 is about eight inches. And what's difficult to see from your perspective, we'll get another shot of it in a minute, is that there's substantially more fragmentation from the 55 grain. Of course, that's a higher velocity and that fragmentation helps to develop a much larger permanent wound channel. The fragments cause the places where the tissue is already stretching to begin tearing and that creates a much more severe wound than the simple stretch cavity. All right guys, from this angle you can see the fragmentation from the 55 grain much better. Here's the section of the base of the bullet. A big chunk came off in this direction and exited the block about here. Nice short neck, big huge temporary stretch cavity, lots of fragmentation. That's the sort of thing that you see from cheap 55 grain full metal jacket from a 16 inch barrel. Overall, outstanding performance, way better than the cheap ammo in the AK or the AK-74 for that matter. Oh, you're good.